he can't handle being likened to Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> if if people said I looked like Winnie the Pooh, if that was the the meanest thing people said about me, I'd be lucky. Here's some of the memes that PewDiePie showed that got him banned throughout all of China. Manga, anime, Netflix adaptation. I love that. That's so good. <clears throat> oh, hi, G. Jimping. Lost hair. Can you help him find it? There's a bunch of different haircuts, and then six is Winnie the Pooh ears. Liberate Hong Kong. The revolution of our time. Censored, censored, censored. Um, G. Ping. And Chinese newspaper, it's like a Jack Winnie the Pooh. Jinping and Hong Kong newspapers going mad on honey. Jing, Z Pinging. How do you say his name? G Pinging. Z. G Pinging. G Ping, I believe. Say that again. G G Ping, but I could be wrong. G G Ping and American newspapers. I'm assuming that's like a missing chromosome. Um, Winnie the Pooh, I don't know. China then built the Great Wall, invented gunpowder, powder, trained martial arts. China now scared of winning the bill. So <laughs> true. Hong Kong after 150 years of British rule. Hong Kong after 22 years of Chinese rule. When South Park mocks you for censoring media and so you prove them wrong by censoring them. <coughs> I agree. This whole thing of like over censoring just makes you look so weak That's and pathetic. So weak. If you're really strong, you shouldn't be. Like, how insecure is this guy Xi Ping that you're not allowed to say he looks like Winnie the Pooh? Which, by the way, is kind of endearing. Yeah, what's the problem with Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> I think he wants to be seen as a serious guy, but, I mean, dude, you do kind of look like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this is racist. But, but, it's, it's, like, but it's not a bad thing. It, like, Winnie the Pooh is kind of cute. Winnie the Pooh's I the don't man, even baby! Everybody loves Winnie. <laughs> But now that he hates it, now it's like the hot new meme. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, he looks like... Yeah, is, it, is it racist to say a, a, a Chinese person looks like Charlie Brown? What? What? Because he looks like Charlie Brown. But I feel like you could say that about a lot of, of Chinese people. No. You see? <laughs> it wouldn't look. have been if you didn't bring it <laughs> yeah. there. But look, he looks like Charlie Brown. Look at Charlie Brown. He doesn't really look like it. Bro, I guarantee he does. Let me show you. <laughs> Fuck. Look, here's Charlie Brown, <laughs> and here's he, his face. He literally looks like Charlie Brown. Uh, Hello! He looks like Charlie Brown! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's Charlie Brown as an adult. Not really. What? <laughs> Can anyone back me up here? <laughs> you ain't getting any backup from me, sorry. <laughs> Zach, you'll back nope. me up, right? I can kind of see it. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you. Not great. I won't even ask you in. <laughs> he won't back me up ever. <laughs> um, so anyway, PewDiePie basically <laughs> didn't even say anything like me. Like where I'm going like, I totally agree with democracy. I think democracy is so important to the survival of humanity. I love democracy and freedom. And I think the people of Hong Kong deserve democracy and freedom. I think the United States should support Hong Kong. Uh, because when when countries are democratic, the whole world benefits. I think that Trump is a little bitch ass fucking cunt coward. Sorry for not supporting Hong Kong. He literally said China can handle their own business. That's un-American. He needs to say that Hong Kong fucking rules and we will always as it is in the Constitution. I mean, believe in the ideals of democracy and human freedom. Yes, Dan. Hit him with the honestly, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Dan. Go ahead. Honestly, I was just gonna say, what are, what are we supposed to do? We're not gonna go to a no, nuclear least, war with China. At least Hong voice Kong, support so. for them. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know what I mean? Don't be a little coward. Sure. That's fair. Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I mean, you know, I would like to see my president having a spine and standing up for for the the ideals of freedom that that defines us as a nation, as a people. I feel you on that. I just don't know. What are they going to do? I don't know. And I just don't know if it's that specific to Trump. I don't think Obama would have said shit either. I think he would have. I think he did. Mm. F look it up. Well, there wasn't a crisis uh, going on when Obama was president in Hong Kong. Regardless of <laughs> who's <laughs> president, <laughs> Dad. What are we talking about? Hypothetical. I, what do you mean? I'm, I'm, I'm what, do you, what do you think George Bush would have said? What do you, I don't think he would have said shit What about either. Jimmy Carter? 
Jimmy Carter is a pretty nice guy. He might have said something. Oh, he's it's about niceness now. Well, I mean, I think you're wrong. I think other presidents would have said something. <laughs> because Trump said Trump said they sh- China should handle their business. Or right. Some- I mean, and that's yeah. I mean, he's isolationist. He's always been like, yeah. Other surprised. countries is your problem, kind of thing, is his attitude. So sorry to interrupt. Well, we I disagree. Break. I feel you. Dan? I, I'm agreeing with you that we should be supporting the pro democracy. Sound movement. like I, it? No, I'm just, I'm just also on a pragmatic level. What what is what are we supposed to do? Are we going to invade China? Uh, I invade China? What do you? Exactly. On. Of course, we're not going to do that. So what? Are, you but know? you should. I think it's important to to, to speak. Just to say it. To say yes, it. Yes. Okay, to okay, say it. Fair. And and to be also uh, frank, I I'd like to see um, America. Uh, maybe even giving aid to Hong Kong, support, See, diplomatically, right, well. regulationally. I think that we have to take a stand against it. China is just the most, uh, cr- it's just scary, the government there. It is scary. It's, it's terrifying. You, and if you have the option between China and Hong Kong as a player on the world stage for the betterment of humanity, Hong Kong is, is, uh, is good for the world. These are... These are people that believe in freedom. They are productive. They are powerful. They are educated. These are. This is a great place. Hong Kong is like a beacon to the world, Dan. I do think the United States should be supporting them in any way we can, short of, yes, invading China, Dan, when dropping nukes on China. Honestly. 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 <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I do think that I would like... Anyway, whatever... He didn't say anything like that, PewDiePie. He didn't say anything close to that, but yet um, he was banned in China. We're about to be too, by the way. I don't. Think, <laughs> I don't think they care about us. We'll see. I don't have that PewDiePie swag. He. Uh, but what does it even mean? Because isn't like YouTube and Google is already? Yeah, that's what I wonder. Not even. So what they did is basically like China's version of Google. And they have their own version of YouTube. So now PewDiePie is just banned off all those. Like, they mm-hmm. scrubbed the internet of his name. Like, you, there's just no mention of him anymore. He doesn't exist over there. Incidentally, that's what they used to do in 1984. They would erase people from memory. Down the memory hole. And people would act like they never heard of him before. So now everyone in China's got to be like, oh, yeah, we never heard of PewDiePie. Um, let's see. They had a picture, someone had a picture of what happens when you search for it here. Uh, oh yeah, PewDiePie joked that China took copyright of PewDiePie in 2017 without him being able to stop them. Look at this copyright, this is so China, we deal with this shit. Actually, we're dealing with some shit like this right now. Um, (laughs) look at this, you see how it's written, PewDiePie? They make wedding dresses. Clothing, gloves, and (laughs) wedding dresses. Isn't that amazing? (laughs) Yeah. There's somebody trying to do that shit to us in China right now that we're trying to deal with. Um, But China kind of did them a favor in a way because they probably are out of business now. Oh, this was awesome. Look at this. Someone made a gif of his face transforming into Winnie the Pooh, and it's really good. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would be I would be honored to be blocked in China, too. I don't, you know. Oh, yeah, this other DJ, Zed. He, do you know what happened to Zed? He had a tour planned for China. He liked a yeah, South we Park tweet. Oh, we talked about it last oh, we episode, did. didn't we? Ban- did we talk about it, Dan? I don't think we talked about the Zed. I think it happened afterwards. Yeah. South Park made a whole episode about banned oh. in China, and they got banned in China. And then this DJ Zed, who was planned to tour in China, liked one tweet from South Park, and the and they banned him. <laughs> Dude, like, first of all, how many people in China are sitting in the Ministry of Truth just monitoring Twitter? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a lot of manpower just to s- look at Zed's likes. <laughs> that's a deep cut. That's not even a post. That's a like. Here's what happens when you search PewDiePie in China, Elon. It says it just says 404. Oh wow. Well. Air 404. Interesting. I guess on on a certain website. Although some people say that it wasn't blocked, so who knows? 
being reported more widely now, this whole incident. It, so I, I think it is. It was probably just some more articles coming out today about it. It probably just took time to really scrub the internet of them, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would be honored to join that list, but I don't think they care about uh, the little old H3 podcast. <laughs> but I, trust me, I would love to be banned. That would just only validate my my opinion that this is the most important, not only the best, but the most important show <laughs> in the world. I support Hong Kong, and I think the U.S. government should more support Hong Kong. This is all pretty new to me, this whole <coughs> China versus Hong Kong situation. It's pretty, it's pretty, so Hong Kong was ruled by the British after, when did the British take control of Hong Kong? Oh, uh, early 1800s, I want to say. Um, How the fuck? At the height of their empire. That's crazy, man. They just British snagged empire off a, a nice juicy piece of China. Colonialism, baby. Why not? <laughs> so anyway, they had uh, freedom and basically all the rights and, and ideals of Western society, and they negotiated with China to to give back Hong Kong to China like 20 years ago. And so in that deal, they made an agreement that China, they would have an autonomous government and that they would still enjoy the certain freedoms that they've enjoyed for the past hundreds of years under British rule. Like For a time. It's actually it's, part of that agreement was in, I want to say, 2046? In the 2040s, China is supposed to fully take over Hong Kong. Like, that's still in the cards for them. Really? They would just sell them out like that? Just a full, it's all you, I mean, China? It, yeah. What do, what do the British care? So this, but all this, well, the British obviously care to negotiate some terms. I mean, I yeah. mean, what motivation did the British have to give it back to China anyway? Their empire was crumbling and they didn't, couldn't sustain it anymore. Well... Uh, regardless, this whole protest started over a new law that China, mainland China, could ec uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, go ahead, Dan. What? Annex? Is no. that what you're looking for? Nope. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're that you could um, what, when you take a criminal from... Well, oh, extradite. extradite. You could extradite uh, people from Hong Kong to mainland China. Right. And they, and I think they were afraid that that would be used to go in and arrest, you know, Political dissenters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a whole thing, man. But I just know you've got to support freedom and democracy where it is. So Honestly. Hong Kong is trying to separate themselves from yes, China? Yes, that's what they're... It started as this, but now it's turned into something much bigger. Well, there's as, a movement, too, and, and it's, <laughs> it's complicated. Not everybody there wants that. A lot of people obviously do. That's why there's violent clashes and everything but you know there's aspects of society there that are more friendly to china and you know just like any place there's a variety of opinions and so well yeah. there's obviously there is millions a big, of people very i think vocal yes and there's the street a huge movement protesting there's people. huge clashes of of chinese or hong kong police i guess who are backed by china right and uh the more violent it gets the more people are getting crazy and china is working feverishly to censor people talking about it, as we talked about last week. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen there because China's pretty crazy. They just, they just straight up ride. I mean, I don't think they have a problem just with outright violence. So, yeah, we'll see. Yep, it's a powder keg. It's a scary situation.